Hi, this is Jenny from Woodman Controls, here today with a video on setting up users and logins in the Envision Graphics. How to create a new user, how to change a password for a user, how to limit the nodes a user can view. You're going to come into your advanced configuration. You're going to go into the services service container you're looking for user service and a left click on user service this will bring us up to see all of the users that are currently allowed to log in I always like to duplicate a user that I know already has the correct setup the correct navigation file and permissions so you highlight that user and you hit duplicate you can create a new user if you want you have something particular in mind. Pick a good name for your user, then it'll be at the bottom. Highlight it and can do further editing. Uh, there's spaces for names. You can make it expire if you want. You can change the roles. Uh, there are more roles if you go into this edit window prototypes. You'll find those in your config. Here's where you change the password. There's more settings in here if you want to make the password expire or to set a temporary password. This force reset at next login, you give them the temporary password. Click this button and they will have to pick a new password when they log in with that temporary password emails, cell phone, a navigation file is very important. Click in, I mean, usually for these Envision graphics we have an Envision navigation file set up, but if there's something special going on, if it's a, a, you know, a mobile device or somebody with limited view, you can set up their own navigation file if you want. Click OK. All sorts of enables. Usually we just enable all of it, but you can change it if you want. And you click OK. If you want to test out the user, you can log out, log back in as that user to see what they see. Uh, speaking of what they see, if you want to change the graphic nodes that they are allowed to see, I've gone too far. Uh, you can do it from there. You need the little gear in the corner. Left click on the gear and go into permissions. And all of the users from the last screen will be here. Here's the one we just set up. I found it to be very fast. There's more types and modes here if you just want them to view only. Um, I found horizon screens in particular. Their users need to be view only. Help tips on or off. Set up landing page here. When they first log in to Envision, whatever you drag into this landing page, that's the node that will pop up first. And then this node box here is how you set up restrictions to what a user can view. If you leave it blank, they have access to everything. If you drag in nodes, that user will only have access to the nodes you drag in to this box. Let's say this Jenny test user is only going to have access to the building summary and some reports. Like this is someone who just needs to print off some reports. They only have access to those two unless you drag in something else. If you have highlighted your own user and you're in here messing with nodes and types, you can change your own user to the point where you can't get back into it to change your user back to an edit or an admin or get back to the node you want. So tread carefully. Um, but when you got it how you like, Hit save. User saved. Jenny test in the permissions manager.
and let you know it's done. And then an X in the corner to get you back out to your four tile home page. So there you have it, users and logins in your Envision graphics. That's how you create a new user, how you change your password, and how you can limit the nodes a user can view. Thanks for watching.